In this episode, we'll be covering Laravel migrations, and migrations is a way of storing your database schema in files instead of just in your database. So if you are sharing this project with someone, they can easily have your database schema. If you're working on a project with a team, they can just run the latest migrations and have the same database schema that you're currently working with. So let's go ahead and just jump right into it. In the earlier videos, we created a new table and called that customers. And then we also created a new table called orders. And you can see it's a very simple table, but we just created these manually. And normally you would want to use migrations. So migrations, we would simply be able to share a project with someone and they could just run our migrate command and then they will be up and running with the latest database schema. So let's go ahead and just delete these tables and let's go ahead and create our first migration. So let's go to our project root and let's go ahead and say PHP artisan make migration. We'll say create customers table. And now if we go into our project and we go to our database migrations folder, you'll see that we have three files here. And we actually have two migration files by default with every Laravel install, and that is create users table and create passwords table. So you can see here that inside of our create users table, they're simply creating a user, and then down here they are dropping the user. So we're going to do the same thing with the customers table. So I could actually just copy and paste this, and just paste this right in here. So we know that we are going to create a new table called customers. And then in here we want to have table increments, and this is going to be our primary ID. And then we also want to create a string, and that's just going to be called name. And then the same thing for our down method, we want to drop our customers table. So once you run PHP artisan migrate, it is going to run the up function. And if you run PHP artisan migrate rollback, it is going to run the down function. So the up will create the migration and the down function will reverse whatever you have done in the up function. So then right here, we want to say schema drop customers and we can go ahead and save this. And I'm just gonna go ahead and delete the two migrations that came with a default install of Laravel. And then if I go back into my terminal, and I can run PHP artisan migrate. And it's saying that we do not have a database connection. Let's see what we're dealing with here. So we have localhost and our database name was application. And the username was root and password was root. So after we have the correct database credentials, let's try that again. So let's run PHP artisan migrate. And sure enough, we get migration table created successfully. So if I go back into my application database and refresh, then sure enough, we have our customers table that has an ID and a name. And we also have this new table called migrations. And this is the table that is storing all of the migrations that we have currently done on our project or migrations that we have maybe rolled back. So if we do PHP artisan migrate, we can do a command called rollback and that will actually roll back our migration. So if we reload the database, we don't have our customers table anymore because we actually did run this down function, which dropped our customers table. And if I go back in here to migrations, we don't have any current migrations that have been run. So let's go ahead and run PHP artisan migrate again. And we will add that table customers here. And then we have that we have done this migration and we have inside of our customers, we have ID and name. So I hope you can see that just by creating all of these migrations for your project, somebody could uh, download your project from GitHub or any kind of open source project, and they can run PHP Artisan Migrate, and they can have your database schema right there in front of them, so then they can start working on the project. So that's it for migrations. I hope you can just see how really cool they are and how it makes managing your application a lot easier. Hey guys, thanks for checking out this Laravel Basics video. Uh, Laravel is a really cool framework that allows us to build these really cool applications, and one of those applications that I have built is the Dev Dojo. So if you check out devdojo.com, it's a learning resource for all things web development, including Laravel. I've just added a new section which includes ebooks that you can download, and uh, it's just a whole bunch of resources for you to get better at web development. So, thanks again for checking out this video, and I hope you go over to the devdojo.com and check it out.